An Albuquerque man says the state's voter registration laws are so weak you could register your dog and get away with it. In fact, he says he just did that. Only on 4 tonight, Danielle Tedesco talks to that man who explains just how easy it was to register Buddy. Danielle? Well, Tom, Nicole, he says that's exactly why he was trying to do it, to see how easy it would be. And it's official. Today, the dog's voter registration card came in the mail. This is Buddy, a three-year-old Labrador. Now, he's also a registered Democrat. Give me a paw. The dog's owner says he was on UNM's campus a few weeks ago and passed people offering to get voters registered. Already a registered Republican, he decided he would see how easy it is to register with bogus information. They should verify. I mean, somebody should have verified this information and somebody should have come out and said, hey, you know, and took a look at exactly who it was. But, I mean, I made up a birth date and I made up a social security number and, and I had a voter registration card in my hand for Buddy two weeks later. But he says no one verified anything, not the social security number, not the date of birth, not even his name. So we called the Bernalillo County Clerk's Office. They tell us state law doesn't require any proof of those things, but they also say this is voter fraud. They say they strictly look over all the applications that come in from third-party registration agencies before sending out registration cards. This time, Buddy made it through the system. We're going to have a lot of people that are registered to vote that shouldn't be able to vote. And the dog's owner says he has no intention of trying to vote under Buddy's name. He simply wanted to highlight the issues with the registration system. Nicole. New developments tonight in a story we broke last night about a man who successfully registered his dog to vote. Tonight, he could face serious charges. The Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department says it's now investigating. Danielle Tedesco is here with the latest. Danielle. Well, last night we introduced you to Buddy, the four-legged Democrat in New Mexico. His owner, Tom Tolbert, says he wanted to expose the problems with the voter registration system. Tonight, Tolbert could face felony charges for voter registration fraud, and now his wife is taking some of the heat. Something smelled fishy. Pat Davis with the liberal group Progress Now New Mexico says they did some digging and found Tolbert's wife, Heather Wade, is a senior staffer with Republican Heather Wilson's U.S. Senate campaign. This is a criminal act, and now not just one person has likely committed a felony by completing a false voter registration card, but now it's like it looks like a conspiracy, and one of those people at least is on the payroll of Heather Wilson. We took that allegation straight to Tom Tolbert. Did you ever tell her that you were going to do this? No. I did not. What was her involvement in this at all? My wife had no involvement in this whatsoever. And tonight, Tolbert issued an apology to his wife, the county clerk, the sheriff's office, and the public, saying he'll take full responsibility for his actions. This is something that tends to happen every presidential election year, is let's try to pull a gotcha on the system. And, and in this case, um, hopefully this individual will, will be brought to justice. But we also wanted to know how how this dog was able to pass through the system and become a voter. Oliver says her office followed every procedure correctly. There's absolutely nothing on the card um, that would red flag it for us. Um, it's complete. Um, the, the, answer, the questions were answered properly. Um, there was a social security number that was unique that doesn't match any other social security number in our system. But the county clerk admits there should be stricter policies on proving who you are to register and to vote. Ideally, we should have a better system. Now, the other question is, could Tolbert have voted under Buddy's name? The county clerk says if voting by absentee ballot, legally he would not have had to show a photo ID. However, Tolbert says he had no intentions on doing that. Nicole? All right. Thank you, Danielle.